Hello everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners and uh, in this quick screencast um, I'm going to show you how to do a dreamy effect with an HDR uh, toning uh, technique right here. Um, the reason why I'm hesitating a little bit is, is that it's not real HDR because this is just made with one image. So what we're going to learn is how to make this dream effect that comes from a fake HDR uh, so that you can improve any of your images. So this would be the result at the end. So let me just go ahead and close this and uh, I'm just going to bring an original image into my camera raw 6.0 and you're going to need to do this you're going to need Photoshop CS5 so I'm just gonna leave this as is except that I am going to use a little bit of exposure here by holding the option key I can see when the exposure starts clipping in the image and same thing with the blacks and um, pretty much that's the only correction that I'm going to do to the image this is a raw image taken with an icon D200 so I am going to open it as is open image and then once you have it in Photoshop you can see the image right here once we have it in Photoshop what I'm going to do is I am going to apply the HDR toning to this image but before I do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my layers panel here and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to create first of all from the background I'm gonna create a layer by double clicking on it and hitting yes and then finally what I'm going to do is I am going to convert it to a smart object okay and that's an important step right there because what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this smart object and then the layer on the top you're going to rasterize. You might be wondering why am I doing all these steps? Well the reason is because the HDR toning doesn't allow you to apply to be applied unless you have flattened your uh, your layers. Therefore by using a smart filter we can just go and apply the HDR toning to the smart object that we just created. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to double click in this smart object and it actually tells me well save save your uh, save your image once you're done. So I'm just going to say OK. And now I'm working with this one document that I have here which is not my original one is my uh, smart object and I'm gonna go to image adjustments and HDR toning and I'm gonna to get this dialog box here that says the toning will flatten your document which is what I was trying to prevent so I'm gonna say yes and in this case I'm just going to use the one of the presets the one that says surrealistic and then I'm gonna give it a second here to process this is going to take more time uh, depending on the amount of RAM memory that you have and um, if you have a lot of RAM memory then it's going to be pretty fast you're gonna hit OK and now you're going to save this document like so and then just hit the Apple W to close the document as you can see in my layers panel I can see now that I have both versions the previous version unaltered and my new HDR toning layer I'm gonna move it to the top and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click where it says overlay to uh, effectively use uh, the blending mode that allows the anything that it's that is lighter than gray becomes lighter and everything that is darker than gray that 50% gray becomes darker that's what overlay mode does to an image and now what I'm going to do is go to here to filter and apply a Gaussian blur and uh, this can be done uh, as I see in the screen the amount of effect that I want the more blur the less the effect becomes noticeable so it has to be something that is 
just right like around there I'm gonna hit OK and also I can use my opacity here to tone down the effect as needed uh, since this is really a dreamy effect that I want to accomplish here then this is pretty good like so and as you can see we've accomplished uh, the effect that we wanted in in very uh, short amount of time now the last thing that I would do is just if you're done with all your changes then you can go ahead and merge the layers and and save your image but uh, basically now your image is looking very very good and you can see that it has uh, that that effect that we are looking after uh, you have the HDR style toning while preserving the uh, nice uh, lines and at the same time creating a blurring effect uh, that gives it that that extra dreamy effect uh, this can be applied to any kind of images and I'm using it for a car interior here but obviously this is probably more applicable to uh, model photography alright so thank you very much for watching and remember to, to visit mercados.com for more information thank you and have a great afternoon bye bye